Adams wins it for St. Francis. We're here inside the uh, coach's office with uh, head coach Sarah McMullen as we break down the, the victory, uh, the victory over FDU and the tough three set setback at Sacred Heart as we prepare for CCSU and Bryant over homecoming weekend. Coach, first and foremost, thank you for your time. We've got the Sacred Heart highlights in the background. I know it's a three set loss, but it's not your typical three set loss. That was decided by about five points over the course of the entire match. Yeah, every set was we lost by two points, and every set we actually had the lead in and just at the end didn't do the little things right when they mattered most, and Sacred Heart took advantage of that. Well, as we watch the highlights here, as we've kind of turned our attention to Northeast Conference play, your offensive balance between Nicole Adams, Lexi Lambert, and Matty Tyus has been – shockingly balanced almost to the point where they the each the three of them each have the almost the exact same number of kills you have to be impressed with the offensive attack and then the decision making from your center Amelia Metzler yeah it's been great having a lot of productivity out of the three of them they're definitely keeping opposing teams blockers on their toes especially having one at this end of the court one at the other end of the court one back row so we're kind of all over the place with where we can distribute the ball and I think Amelia's finding them at the right times allowing them to be successful well, let's talk a little bit about that because Amelia is leading the conference since she started. She started at the the Robert Morris match, so you guys are really three and two with her as your uh, leading setter. Almost eleven set uh, assists per set. She's just kind of been a a calming, steadying presence at the right time for your for your offense. I think it's helpful having her, you know, as a senior on the court because she has experience in this conference. She knows her opponents. She's played against them the last few years, and she kind of can understand where the ball needs to go when to give our hitters the best opportunity to get us some points. Well, let's take a look at uh, some of the the film here. This it, not necessarily has been a house of horrors for you guys, but certainly has, it's been a tough place for you guys to uh, to play and win. We were very aggressive, and I think that's what allowed us to play so close. We had a lot of good fight. We played a lot with a lot of intensity. We just lacked a little bit of discipline, and that's where the Pioneers kind of overtook us. But typically this arena isn't one of our most successful ones. Um, it's a tough arena for us to play in. Not sure why, but we just struggle there. So it was nice to see improvement, at least. We improved by playing tough and by playing them a lot closer compared to years in the past. So that's definitely something to build off, and we're excited that we get another opportunity at Sacred Heart and but had them at our court. CCSU and Bryant coming into our gym this weekend. You lost in four sets to the Blue Devils. The Bulldogs, again, that's a tough road trip. The longest road trip of the year right off the bat. You fall in three sets to them. Talk a little bit about the familiarity as you get a second crack uh, at, at these two teams. Well, what's exciting is Central and Bryant are still playing in a very similar system to what we saw the first time. Whereas we've changed up our offense a good bit. Um, we were in a 6-2, now we're in a 5-1. So, yes, they have film on us, but they haven't seen us play live or against us live. So I think that gives us advantage. And I think being at home, we're pretty good at home. We're pretty comfortable at home is also going to play into our favor this weekend. Daisha Shamlin, when she's been starting, she's one of the best blockers in the NEC, averaging close to, if not over, a block per set. And she seems to have really found a rhythm in that in that setup with either Nicole Adams or Lexi Lambert, especially Nicole, who has also kind of emerged as a uh, kind of a tag team duo on that front line when when uh, Adams is up front. Yeah, Dion's worked a lot with Nicole's. Um blocking position and just having our pin set up a better block allows Daisha to be successful because she can just be an athlete, get there, close the block, jump high, press over pretty hard and hitters seem to struggle with her front row. They may hit into the block and when she blocks the ball goes down hard or a lot of times we see hitters change their arm swing when Daisha's front row. They're trying to hit over and around her because they don't want to get blocked and that way they're taking off some speed, and that allows our back row defense to pick up that ball and get a good touch on that ball so that all of our hitters can be an option. Some coaches don't like being home over homecoming weekend because there's a lot of distractions, but I think this plays into your favor because there's going to be a lot of excitement as well. Oh, there's going to be so much excitement. And our team, we play our best when we're having fun and goofy, and I think with all the excitement around, having the families around, it allows my athletes to be relaxed and when we're relaxed, we're pretty good. When we get a little bit uptight and overthink is when we 
hit some speed bumps. So we're looking forward to being home and having the commotion. Both matches, if you can't make it, and you should, is on NEC uh, front row. But again, thank you for a moment of your time and best of luck this weekend. Thank you.